Okay. Hey guys, it's Scotty. I've been away for a while. It's been a crazy year for me. Not all good. I've had some health issues and just craziness. But I've started back in the crafting world and I've been lurking on the junk journal. Junk journal junkies. Um, Facebook page and watching all the goings on. So a couple of days ago, though, I noticed that there was an event being sponsored to do vintage inserts for the Midori Traveler's Notebook system. And it was hosted by Lori, but she said she was co-hosting because she wasn't really familiar with the system, Lori Jagadish. And I thought, wow, how cool is that? And then all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, where is my Midori Traveler's Notebook? I came across this system quite a few years ago and just loved it and got a piece of leather and made one and then I realized I haven't seen that thing in years and so I decided to tear my house apart um, to look for my Midori Traveler's Notebook so I found it <laughs> which I really did make in like 2012 um, following YouTube video of Ray Blake so if you're not familiar with the system the system is genius and I'll show it to you. Uh, this is mine. It is, let me turn it this way so you will see it. I made it with a piece of leather that I get from a fabric upcycle place. A nice piece of leather that was very reasonably priced, <laughs> practically free. Anyway, what I did was, I tried to do some a couple of things. So I took some fragments of the leather, ran it through my big shot with some embossing folders. I think this is clocks. This is like bricks or something. Added a camera charm. So let me show the system. This is the book altogether. So I'm going to open it up really quickly. And basically, it, the system is a, a cover. The Midori Traveler's notebook is the cover. It's this part. The notebook inserts are what you put in. So I lined mine with a piece of fabric that I have, which I like. So I'm going to take it apart. Um, um, I'm going to practice on this video not saying um. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out the center book. And then I'll take out the other two because I have three in here. And I'll show you how this thing kind of works. So Lori Jagadish, if you didn't bother to spend any time going through YouTube to figure out what the Midori system was or anybody else who's not familiar with the system and who cares to cares about to know about it. Here's what it is. It's genius. It's just elastic that you put through a couple of holes. This is the traditional or the original Midori system with which is just one piece of elastic which makes these two little elastic holders and here's the genius part of it then you take a notebook insert i'm using a5s i designed this to be an a5 because that's my favorite size oh this is a moleskina so this is a moleskina kaye or something <laughs> anyway i think it's the moleskina yeah because it has the half pocket in the back what you then do is you take this, and it works best if it's a stitched or stapled in the middle. You take that elastic that's in the center here, and you stick the book through it. Okay, that's it. That's it. Major. Magical. Close it up, and you now have a journal with a notebook in it. But here's the great thing about this. There's a lot of people who are planners, or you may want, this happens to have um, graph paper in it. So you may want to have a notebook that has sketch paper or watercolor paper, or you may want there to have line paper. What I did was I created my own inserts. Uh, and of course now I'm totally not ready to do this demonstration. So here are my inserts. Give me a second. So I made my own inserts, and for this one, I actually matched the spine. Did um, I think I had to do that because I think when I sewed this originally, I might have split it. Anyhow, this one is my lined paper. So I was designing this that 
on my trip I would write in this book. And I'm not a big writer. I'm not actually a big, I am a writer, but I'm not a big journal writer. It's, it's crazy. I love making journals, but I don't write a lot. And then what I did put in mine was an envelope, you know, to collect receipts and brochures or whatever the heck you collect tickets. Um, this particular envelope was made with my Martha Stewart scoreboard. Because like I said, I made this. I made this way before the We Are Memory Keepers um, punch board came out. Anyhow, so it just has writing paper. You know, I stitched a couple of pieces of paper. I think this is a shorter side of the paper. But bottom line, that's all this is. And um, scrap of paper for the cover. So that was one of the inserts that I made for mine. And then the other insert I made was, you guys all recognize this, uh, DCWV something timeless type, I think. And then this was more of a smash book type. So some Tim Holtz paper, uh, tuck spots, top note, tuck spots. So this I designed mainly to smash stuff, images and stuff in. And then in the center of this one, I made a pocket uh, and used some brads that I'm trying to use stuff I don't use. That was the whole point. I have a billion brads. So that was this insert. So now here's the way this works. So now I've got these two extra inserts in my original center. So the way the original Midori system worked is you would take your notebooks and you would take a rubber band. Midori has their own rubber bands. I happen to find these at Office Max in a bag of like 2,000. And it happens to fit A5. So you put the rubber band between, I put mine on the two covers, okay? So now I have this. So I have two books together. And then you take your two books. And remember, this is that center where your other book is you scoot it through juggle it a little bit da, 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 da. is this in frame da, 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 da. okay so now I have three books inside my one cover so on my trip I have my writing I have a graph paper which I could try attempt to sketch and then I have a smash book is that ever cool? So that's the Midori Traveler's Notebook System. So Lori Jagadish, if you've never seen it or wanted to see a different version, <laughs> this was mine. And unfortunately, I haven't joined the swap because I, I really, I don't think I can complete anything. I, I haven't been good at completing stuff. This is already done, so that's why I'm showing it. And also, I wanted to finally get my second YouTube video up since um, the first one was back in November and I haven't been able to do anything since. So here it is, my version of the Midori Traveler's Notebook, which I'm glad the event was posted because it reminded me that I had made this book years ago. And I'm also going to be going to Europe in a couple of months. So I'm going to take this with me. It's my traveler's notebook. I'm going to take my Midori style traveler's notebook with me to Europe. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. And hopefully I'll be posting junk journals and some other stuff that I'm making. I actually have made a couple of things lately just to get myself back in the mix. So thanks again for watching guys. Talk with you soon. Bye. Oh, I think I forgot to add that the closure on the Midori is also usually just elastic. I made mine coming out of the side. The original Midori has the closure um, coming from the back, but I like the side version better. And um, I think that's how Ray Blake did it as well. I'm gonna include Ray's uh, YouTube tutorial below in the comp, uh, detail section. So if you wanna go ahead and see it. Okay guys, thanks, bye.